my name is John and I am a, what's called a land baron in Second Life. I've got a real estate office and when people teleport into the office, they can look at pieces of land and, and uh, talk to an agent and figure out which island they want to buy or, yeah, here we are. This is my office. This is the director, Lorac. Every single avatar, there's another real person on the other end. Oh, she's, wait, so is this like a nine to five? Yeah. Like, so she, she has to stand there? Um. Three hours a day? Yeah. And she's saying, good to see you, sir. Oh. So nice. that was really sweet of her. And she's really, really attractive. This is really nice. Yeah. She's really <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> How much does like a month of rent at, at a property cost? 400 US. 400 US dollars? Yes. What For a smaller fuck? property, 125. Occasionally we'll get a tenant that doesn't pay and we'll have to uh, go and talk with them and eventually evict them, which I, I really don't like to do and try not to do. Then they'll explain like, oh, my cat had surgery and I can't pay this month. So just- Wait, their, their real cat got surgery or? Yeah. So, so it's a lot like getting physically evicted from like a real place. It is, and it can be as traumatic, and I really feel for the people that, that we do this to. I've had several threaten to sue me in real life court, and I've had other kind of threats, and if there's any way to avoid it, I, I would love to do it, but it, it, does, it does hurt. You know, where does the, the empathy stop and the, the rubber meet the road? Where do you have to you know, draw a line in the sand and, and go out of business over someone's feelings. Maybe no matter what reality you're in, being a landlord is always going to cost you a piece of your humanity. And there's no easy way out. <laughs> Whenever I need a place to think, 